VTest is a unit test framework powered by V. Similar to V, it improves the developer experience by being incredibly fast with hot module reloads and also offers tons of unique optimizations if your project is built using V. While VTest is framework agnostic, we're going to take a look at how to use it to test a Vue 3 app. So you may be asking, is this better than Jest? And while most front-end developers, myself included, have used Jest extensively in the past, VTest offers some unique benefits. First, while it's possible to use Jest inside of a Vue app, it essentially means that we have two different pipelines to configure and maintain, one for the functionality of our app itself and one for our testing suite. Since VTest builds off V, we can share the plugins and configuration that we define in our V config between both our apps and our tests, meaning there's just one pipeline to maintain. And if your app is already using Jest, VTest is compatible with most of the Jest API and libraries, meaning that it can be a simple drop-in replacement that you can try for yourself. But if we want to install VTest into our app, we can say npm install d v test. And while we can add a ton of configurations for our test environment itself, in our example, there's only one thing that we want to change, and we can do that inside our vconfig file. In our define config, let's add a property called test, and then set globals to true. And this provides our vtest API globally, so we can use methods like test and expects without importing them, just like we would in Jest. To actually run our test, let's create a script inside of our package.json called test that runs vtest and this automatically runs it in watch mode. So whenever we make changes to our files, the affected tests will rerun. And now let's make a source slash tests folder and create our first test file called simpleexample.test.js. Like I've mentioned a few times, vtest is framework agnostic. So to start off, let's just create a simple example for us to try out our first test. And we're just gonna use some plain JavaScript and create an object called user with a property of name, and I'll set it to my name, Matt, and age, and we'll set it to 22. Since we set globals to true, we can just go ahead and say test, give a name of our test, and we'll just say Matt is 22, and then create a function that actually runs our test. And this will look pretty similar to Jest. Using expect, first we wanna get our user.name, then we can check the value by saying 2b and then checking if it's a string equal to Matt. And we can do a similar thing with the age and check if it's 22. And if we go to our console and run npm run test, we'll see that vtest automatically finds our .test file and our test passes. So with a simple example out of the way, let's see how to test a view component. And to better test view components, let's install view test utils with npm install at view slash test utils. And one change we want to make now is in our package.json file, instead of just running vtest, let's run vtest dash dash dom to allow vtest to mock our browser API with happy dom. All right, perfect. So the view component we're going to be testing is the default Vite Hello World file, where we have this message being passed in as a prop. And when we click this button, the count will update. So let's make our hello world.test.js file and get to work. And there are two things we want to import. Let's import mount from our test utils, and then let's import our component itself. Our first test will mount our component, pass it props, and then check what our props equal. So let's create a test, name it mount component, and set it equal to an async function. And in general, whenever I work with components, I always make the function asynchronous just to handle any sort of awaits we may want to add. So first, let's make sure that our hello world component exists by saying expect hello world dot to be truthy. We'll create a const wrapper and set it equal to mount. And this takes two arguments. The first is the component we want to mount. And for our case, that's hello world. And the second is anything we want to pass to our component. So we'll say props. And then we want to pass a message that says hello from vtest. So if we want to see that our message is properly being passed to our component, we can say expect wrapper dot text, and we can expect it to contain hello from vtest. And if you run this, we'll see that everything's working properly. And then the second thing we want to test is we want to check our button click. So let's copy and paste this first test and then change the name of our test to button click. Then instead of checking our text, we can say await wrapper.get button and then trigger a click event with dot trigger click. So now that it's clicked, we would expect our count to say one. So we can check expect wrapper.text and make sure that the text count is colon one to be in there. And if we want to see that this is working again, we can copy and paste this block, but instead say count is two. And as you can see, as soon as we save, our tests automatically run thanks to VTest hot reloads. So that's all for this VTest simplified video. I just wanted to show off VTest because I think it's pretty cool and really helpful, especially when working with Vite apps. I definitely want to make more videos on testing in Vue, whether that's more in depth with VTest, the Vue test utils, or anything else, just let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And as always, happy coding.